Well, hello and welcome back to FS25. We are on episode 8, I think. And the grass is ready to cut again. So we do need to cut the grass. We need to make some more bales. Those two bales could go do with going over here. The um, water tanker has drained. Broken. Needs to be reset. I don't know about that. Why is it broken? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be that broken. Well, anyway, uh, the goats have got enough water for now. Uh, what we're going to do is grab the mowers. And we're going to head down to start cutting the grass fields. We still don't have a wrapper. Um, but we have got products on the way. But I'm hoping to use those to... Well, we need to get a harvester. We absolutely have to get a harvester. That's what we've got to do. Um, there are fields around that we could... We could harvest. It's a canola field. At least I think that's canola. No, it's not canola. Sorry, that's spinach. So we can't do spinach just at the minute. Uh, where are we? Here. Yeah, so we're from, from next month onwards, we can start doing contracts on canola um, and wheat and barley in September, October. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do... Uh, now is get the field down the bottom here mowed road bailed and we'll rent the wrapper again and we'll get it all sorted but yes the wrapper is definitely one thing that needs to be uh, hired and then we will move on to next month and start looking at buying the harvester and doing some contracts the this grass field was only fertilized 50% unfortunately not sure why because I, I thought I fertilized it fully but uh, apparently not but that's okay. We will figure it out. So yeah, July is another good month to cut the grass. We should be getting three cuts of this grass off the field. Oh dear. Yes, we should be getting three cuts of the grass this year. I'm hoping to... Oh dear. Well, this is going badly. Uh, I'm hoping to get another cut off in November or before November. Make more silage. But there we go. Okay, I'm going to get on and get these fields cut and I will see you in a bit. if it's worth a long-term lease on the wrapper then we could f we could use it on the front loader then as well it depends how much it is to be honest because if it's a massive daily rate then it's not so good for us if it's a smaller daily rate then it would be good for us right can I fit this no, I can't fit this in that shed, can I? We are going to have to make ourselves another shed at some point. But uh, at the minute, yeah, it's just not possible. We've got far too much in the way of debt. We have got plans to make money. We've got 
kimchi over there. We're going to have goat's milk and goat's cheese. But at the minute, it's just too much. And we will leave that one there. So, uh, next job is obviously going to be the windrowing. It is clouding over a little bit, unfortunately. Which is not so good. Oh, not really aligned. Right, well, let's get the wind rowing done and the bailing done in one time lapse, I think. Want to get all of this done as quickly as possible because we need to move on and start looking at harvesters. I think that's going to be really quite important. We're just trying to mop up bits to get that last bale out, but I don't think it's going to happen, to be perfectly honest. Oh, there's a bit over there. I don't know, we need 5%. At least we're only on the small bales. Although, having thought about it, I could have put it up to the big bales. Oh, 9%. 2% uh, now. 98% we're on. I don't think we're going to get this. So, we will leave that there. Right, uh, what I want to do is to get this guy to go down to here. While I'm just sorting a few things back out up here and we can get the wrapper. I'm going to pick it up on the front loader this time. Although the three-point linkage worked perfectly, but if I pick it up on the front loader, it means I can stack the wrapped bales on top of the other ones. And worker B is block an object. Of course he is already. Well, that's just... Oh, crikey. I've done the thing again. Not That fence post is not um, my biggest fan. Where's he stuck, then? Oh, no, he's not stuck. He's gone. Good. Okay. Well, that's him gone then. Uh, so, that's wonderful. Let's detach that there. And we can just pop over and switch this off here. Excellent. Alright. How are we getting on with the production? I don't think we should be getting anywhere at all because we are... Oh, God, worker bees blocked again. Oh, well, that's a new one. It was a good job worker bees blocked because... I forgot to take the pallet forks off. We won't be able to pick up the... Uh, bale wrapper with the pallet forks on. Let's leave those here. There we go. Right, I'm going to head over to the shop. I will s s pick up... Oh, hang on. Let's have a look first. 
bale wrapping, bale wrapping. Here it is. It's that one there. And to lease it. Let's get black wrap this time. To lease it is... Okay, so it's, a, it's a 867 to start with, and then it's 170 every time we work with it, and uh, and 300... Um, let's lease it. Good. Right, I'll go get it, and I'll see you back in the field. Okay, I have been up and picked up the rear weight. I have got the bale wrapper, which we need to select and then unfold. And this time I'm going to start with the furthest away bales. Feels like we're making more progress then. And we will... Yes, that's good. Absolutely amazing. I really do like this wrapper, actually. Didn't haven't used it, anything like it before, but it's really good. Or did I use something like it? I seem to remember maybe in my survival challenge on uh, FS22, possibly. Oh, crikey. Right, so we want to be able to drop it on this one. Uh, hmm. Ah, there we go. That's how we drop it. Excellent. All right, time for bale number two. Uh, we will crack on and we will keep loading them up onto the top of the other bales. And then we're going to move on to August. And we are going to have a look at getting a harvester. Obviously, it'll be with a loan. the last one on the pile it is now 10 past 7 the evening is drawing in and we really should get ourselves off the field and back up to the farm then we're going to take stock of our financial situation definitely needed the uh, the weight on the back because the tractor was struggling with just the just the wrapper let alone a bale okay well that can go down here can be left there we can turn this off here so in terms of finances Let's take a look. So we've got a currently got a loan of a minus of a hundred thousand minus hundred thousand of a hundred thousand. We have plenty of bales. Uh, what else have we got? Not a lot, but we have got stuff being produced. So, I'm going to go to sleep, 
and we're going to get up in August. And see what the next plan is. I think it's going to be harvester time. There we go. It's August. We have 170 pounds of vehicle leasing cops costs. The loan is actually less than a property maintenance at the minute, so um, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, how are we looking for fields that might be ready to harvest? Aha, so we've got quite a few. However, that one's green beans. We don't want to do that one. Uh, barley fields, no. Wheat fields and canola. So 49 and 50 are canola. And at the minute, not ready to harvest. Huh. That's strange. It's about, it's harvest time for canola, but they are way behind. Ah. Uh. How weird. Oh, they've only just been planted, that's why. Uh, okay, right. So, what else have we got in the ready to harvest category? We've got field 60, which is potatoes, I think. Nope, it's not even potatoes. Is it sorghum? Sorghum. So we could do sorghum. Oh, does that mean our field is ready? It is. Well, that's good news. I thought we'd be waiting longer for this, but no, our field is ready. Look at that. Beautiful. Fully fertilised. 85% yield bonus. That's fantastic. So... We're going to have to get a combine to do our own field anyway. How much are combines? That's the big question. Uh, where are we? Come on, combine harvesters. Come on. That's forage harvesting. Here we go, harvesters. So, we would... Uh, oh, we've also got the windrower category. Uh, but that can't do sorghum. So no good for this time. It's going to have to be the cheapest one, I believe. Let's just have a look at what sort of headers you can get for them. So Massey Ferguson is a 6 meter header. That's a 6.2 meter header. Yeah. We're definitely going to be using the smallest one, I think, which will be 130,000. 134,500. Just check there's nothing in the sale. Oh, that would be lovely. Oh, for goodness sake, why doesn't it ever come across at the right time? Uh, so, we'll, yes, we'll need 134,000. So we're going to need to get more of a loan. Which was always the plan. Until we've got 135,000. That'll do nicely. £240,000 loan now, which is obviously a lot. However, we want to buy this harvester and we want to make it worth our while. Trailer Borg's good. Buy that. And combinations. We want the header. We'll buy that. And the header trailer. We'll buy that too. Fantastic. So, we have our new equipment. We've got a hailstorm on the way. God. When's the hailstorm coming? 12 o'clock. Might be able to get our field done before that. And then get another one done this afternoon if we can. Okay. Here is our brand new harvester. Beautiful Massey Ferguson. We'll get the header put on the trailer and get it taken up to the field where we will start our harvest.
go. That is all the harvesting done on our field. That is absolutely incredible. So, uh, I have filled the half pipe trailer. We have still have 4,480 in the harvester here. I think I would like to look at getting chickens. And I know you're going to be screaming at me, yeah, you keep spending all your money and you've got a massive loan now. And yes, you're absolutely right, but we've got to spend money to make money. And um, I'm putting money into future... Oh, crikey. The harvest is still going. Uh, I'm putting money into future money. If that makes sense. So, for chickens... I was thinking about putting something here just down from uh, Industrial Alley. But maybe like this. What do we think? We could get chickens, we could feed chickens, the eggs will appear the other side. It all seems quite reasonable to me. Five thousand seven hundred. There we go. We have chickens. They will also eat sorghum, which is fantastic. I don't know how much they'll need, but they will need some. So we'll get the harvester emptied into... into the chicken hut. If we can get off this bale. Oh, there we go. It started already. Let's see how much it needs, or it takes, rather. Okay, so just, just about a thousand. Which means we're going to have to find somewhere to store this. Oh, we could put it in our little trailer, couldn't we? That would be a good idea. For now, anyway. That'll free the, uh, the harvester up for contracts anyway, won't it? Maybe not. Not entirely, anyway. Okay, well. That will do us for now. Let's go get some chickens. Because we want to be producing eggs. Not us, personally, but... Can you get in here? Can't get in here. Chicken pasture. Six months old. You can get up to 20 chickens in here. So we will get six month old chickens, and I reckon ten to start with. They will very, very soon multiply. There we go. Chickens like wheat, barley, and sorghum. This animal has reached its breeding age. Animals that are healthy and older than six months can reproduce. And rooster is basically not worth anything at all. Ah, so they only appear inside here, which is incredibly interesting. Hmm. 750 litres of sorghum in there. As for the rest of the sorghum, where is sorghum prices? I'm under S, I suppose. The sorghum. Right, so August, around about the thousand pounds per thousand litre mark. And then in January, we get up to one and a half thousand. Well, we might not be able to wait for January. Uh, in fact, I tell you what, let's. It's going to come down to wherever's closest, I think, isn't it? Oh, there you go. I cut the distance on there. So the farmer's market is closest, but the Grain River silo is the next closest. That's where we've been taking things currently. Yeah, Grain River silo it is, I think. We'll tag that, even though I know where it is already. It's over there. And we will need the Veltra. Because, yeah, we do need to... Free up the trailer for um, for the contracts as well. We're not going to be moving on to the next month before we start a contract, but we won't be doing it in this episode. We have done a lot in this episode already. So all we need to do now is to sell the grain. 
So, there isn't a way out that way. I'll have to turn, turn around and go this way. Oh, sorghum's heavy. My voucher is struggling. So yeah, this is going to bring us in about £12,000, which is not bad. Not to be sniffed at. As it were. Another field down there that's ready. I don't know if that's contractable. Gosh, so many trees. But yeah, that's our field done. Uh, I would love to get a cover crop in, I think, before the spring. Or before the winter, I should say. I would absolutely love to get a cover crop in. If, of course, I can. Okay, here we are. Let's get that emptied. See the money coming in. Oh, yes. But more importantly, we now have a harvester and we have the equipment to do some harvesting contracts which is fantastic because not only do we get the money for the contracts we get a little bit extra as well just looking for possible collectibles. They're harder to spot on this map than I think they are on Obelu. Not on Obelu. On uh, Hutampantai. Because they glow on Hutampantai but they do not glow on here. What's this? Hmm. Employees only. I don't entirely know what I'm looking for, to be perfectly honest. Because I think they're all different. But there's got to be one around here, surely. That cone. Not the cone. Let's go up here and have a look. Oh, you can get in this production. Delightful. Ooh. I like it. I like it a lot. Can you open these doors? No, nope. but you can go through this one. Let's go around this way, though. Um, some more gas bottles. What's this now? Hmm. Do I want to buy the wagon builder? No, I don't. Not currently, anyway. No, I don't want to buy the wagon builder still. At some point in the future, I will want to buy the wagon builder. But not at the minute. Well, it looks like I've exhausted most of the op options. Can't get in there. Maybe that's because I haven't bought it yet. Hmm. Okay. Well, I didn't find one around there. That doesn't mean there isn't one around there, but I didn't find one. If anyone knows that I walked straight past one or saw one, please do let me know. Didn't go in that bit up there, but we can always come back another time. 
Anyway, um, I'm going to leave the episode there for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.